This is me interviewing Neil Kaplan at the, de- at the, March, at the February 2014 Col- Los Angeles Comic Book and Science Fiction Convention. So now, what projects are you currently working on? You know, unfortunately, that's a question that few of us can usually answer because companies now are so involved with, with, with controlling their intellectual property from start to finish that I often will sign a non-disclosure agreement before I even audition for something. You know? So there's not a single thing that I'm currently working on that I can legally actually tell you about. Okay. Uh, which is a bummer because I'm working on some cool stuff. Uh, okay. Okay, and so have you had a chance to work with Molly Shannon or meet her at all? No, nope, not as of yet. Okay, but you must have worked with a lot of other people though. Could you please name some of them? Um, you know, actually what's funny is because I primarily do a lot of video game work, I've been involved in projects with other people whose names you would recognize, but I've never been in the same room with them. <laughs> you know, so I remember um, one time at Comic-Con when I met Ron Perlman, and I said, Ron, it's so nice to meet you because you beat me to a pulp in this video game. Which video game is that? Uh, Justice League Heroes. Oh, I got to play Batman. That was so much fun. And I mean, it was, he really was very excited about talking about playing Batman because, you know, he's in such high profile stuff that when he does a, a video game and it's not quite as high profile as his movies or his TV shows, people don't usually ask him about it and he doesn't usually get to talk about it. So, you know, like, yesterday I, I played a character that if it makes it through the editing process on a video game um, and you know they keep it and whatever I'll be very happy when I'll be able to talk about it because the character is fairly well known around the world but I can't say anything about it I can't even tell you what universe it, it exists in I can't tell you good guy bad guy uber good guy, uber bad guy, is it a henchman? I can't do any of that. But when the time comes, you'll go, oh, I know that character. You know, so, um, because what's interesting is, because of video games, we get to dabble in little universes. Um, you know, it's great when you're, when you're hired for a movie or a TV show and you get to inhabit the character for a long period of time, like I did with uh, Optimus Prime for a year. You know, that was great, but, um, you know, like, for instance, I've played the Green Goblin, I've played Norman Osborn, um, and, uh, but that was just in one shot in a video game. Had a blast being the Green Goblin, and there are still probably only, you know, a dozen or a dozen and a half guys that have ever played it at one point or another, what, what, so what happy to be among them. What did Green Goblin always sound like? Um, it was basically, a, I based Norman Osborn on, essentially, uh, essentially on Willem Dafoe. So it, so essentially, then when we got to the Green Goblin, it was his version of the Green Goblin. I just pitched it up a little, got a little angry, you know, but I, but I based it off of thinking, you know, okay, I'm Willem Dafoe. How does Willem Dafoe sound? And it was one of those things, it's like, you know, um, not that you ever channel anybody, but it's almost to a point when you're, when you're doing a, an impression of somebody, or you doing a sound alike of somebody, that I almost try to see that actor in my mind's eye playing it, you know? So it's like, okay, I wanna feel like this guy. Um, I, another actor that I was channeling for another role, um, and I don't know if and when that's gonna come out, uh, it was Bob Hoskins. You know, and again, I'm thinking about Bob Hoskins playing this role and feeling kind of Bob Hoskins-y, and, you know, <laughs> trying, to, trying to remember moments in different films and how would this be my interpretation. You know, when you don't have the chance to go over uh, uh, 200 lines that you're doing in, in, in a session and you don't get the chance to pre-plan how everything's sounding, it's just basically, does it feel like that guy, you know? Like, I do a lot of things by sound. I, I, I don't, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing an Australian or I'm doing a, a Cockney or I'm doing a, a, a Scotsman for different games and different projects and whatever, I don't go and study everything, but it's just like, 
To me, this sounds like it's a Scotsman. It sounds like it's a Scot. So I lay it down, and basically the the director doesn't have a problem with it. The producer doesn't have a problem with it. Could I get away with it if I went to Scotland? Probably not. <laughs> but if I'm walking around, you know, around uh, I don't know. Uh, Los Angeles and I see crap like this, they'll say, oh, he's Scottish. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me, you know, because mostly what, I, what I'm working on is being sold to um, English-speaking audiences, yes. you know. And if you went with a true Scottish dialect, most of the time people wouldn't understand what you're saying, so they'd say, back off, you know, less, less real. So essentially okay. I just kind of go with, does it feel like this guy? Okay. How's that? Uh, Anne, <laughs> Anne, Anne Miller, the late dancer and actress, did you ever meet her or work with her? Who? What? Anne Miller, the late dancer and oh, actress, did you, you ever meet her? you know what? I, I, I didn't work with her and I didn't meet her, but we slightly crossed paths when I was in New York and she was touring with Mickey Rooney and Sugar Babies because they came to the theater where I did musical theater as a kid and they did a, a fundraising show. So while I was in New York, they were in San Jose meeting all the people that I grew up with. So I never met her, but the people that I knew did. So there you go. Oh, wow. And here's the last question. Okay. Did you ever get a chance to work with the DeLuise family or meet them at all? Nope. That's a, that's, that, that's a, that's a, that's a really short answer. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Good to meet you. Again. Good to meet you, too. Thank well, you. there you have it. That was me interviewing Neil Kaplan at the February 2014 Los Angeles Cold Book and Science Fiction Convention.